There's a special kind of fish on the menu today. On the plate is a fillet of African catfish. It has very few bones and it is very tasty. It's also full of omega-3 fatty acids, so it is healthy and nutritious, and you can make all kinds of products out of catfish. Demand is rising, and for the past three years now, the company Pell has been constructing fish farming facilities. Günter Scheibe, the director of Pell, also breeds catfish in order to optimize the equipment he makes. We're conducting experiments to do with things like population density and feeding times. We're always working to improve and test the technical features of our products. That is a huge advantage. We really know when we get it right. What we learn, we can apply without delay in the construction of the equipment. For Pell, developing aquaculture facilities was a new venture. The company used to make enclosures just for land-based animals. To help ensure the success of its new unit, Scheibe got together with some farmers to establish a cooperative. They say fish farming is here to stay. And they want to find new customers. One great advantage of a cooperative like this is the division of labor. Everybody concentrates on what he does best. The cooperative buys the young fish and the feed, and it also looks after marketing and sales. The farmers can get on with farming, with the support of the co-op and with its accumulated knowledge and experience. The co-op has seven members so far and they're all based in the northern state of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. Agriculture plays an important role in the state's economy. The state government wants to encourage fish farming. So it supports PAL and its partners in their venture. <laughs> Farmer Bernd Pomerene is one of the partners. He turned to fish farming two years ago. It's easy to breed African catfish, they're not very demanding. But running closed system aquaculture is quite expensive. Subsidies from the state help. With the state's backing, we're willing to take some risks, because we're confident that fish farming will take hold. It could take two, three or five years, I don't know. But the product is healthy, the demand is there, in fact it's rising as the supply of wild fish is stagnating, so our prospects are pretty good. The pools are heated with biogas from a plant on the farm. The fish need warm water kept at a constant temperature. It's feeding time. Pomerina says the fish food is free of drugs. The population density has to be relatively high, otherwise the catfish start to attack and eat each other. The farmer's efforts appear to be paying off. Things are looking good. We should break even by next year and start to make a profit. His main business is pig farming. But pigs don't open doors to new markets. Aquaculture is a different kettle of fish, as Germany still imports 80% of its fish. Pomerina has also invested in a processing plant which should go into operation early next year. The cooperative will make use of the facilities. If customers want different products, different size fillets or cuts or selections, we can't respond swiftly at present. We are still rather inflexible. But with a new plant, we should become more flexible and thus enhance our standing in the market. And greater flexibility should also increase profitability. This year, the yield of African catfish grown in the German countryside is expected to reach 350 tons. The ambitious breeders are hoping to double that figure next year.